What's up everyone, my name is Keith and I'm a professional videographer here in Somerset, England. We recently did a project for Bridgewater and Taunton College's Performing Arts Department, mainly at the Macmillan Theatre, and I thought I would show you how we use the Atomus Ninja Connect and its features in harmony with our nan like gear. Just a brief little bit about me. I own my own production company, Keybox Entertainment, which I've had for four years now. I have no real niche. I film everything from documentaries, fitness, weddings, commercial stuff for businesses, and everything in between. I've also been using the Atomus products for a few years now, starting with the Shinobi, then moving over to the Ninja. This is the second time we've been out to film for the Performing Arts Department. We previously captured some clips where we used the nan light gear to light our scenes, but we were filming on a Blackmagic 6K Pro and gimbal. It was a two-day filming session, and the one thing we wished we had at the time was something like the Connect system. To be able to have an editor anywhere in the world, or in our case, back at the studio, receiving clips straight away to create us an edit by the time we've even packed up and got back was exactly what we needed. We were lucky enough that the college needed more footage captured and we just got the Sony FX6 in. So it was the perfect time to pair up the Ninja Connect with the nan -like gear and show you guys just how they complement each other. We started the day off at the theatre setting everything up. We had a wide range of lighting gear with us like the Pavo Tube 7X, 30X and 30C Mark IIs. We had other lights with us like the Forza 60B and 60C with a projector mount softbox and hand mount, a couple of 300 and 500B Mark IIs with softboxes and reflectors. We then set the 500Bs with their power banks onto the overhead light rigging to have some spotlights. The 30C and the 30X tubes on stands in the middle of the floor and a 60B with a projector and random gobo. And then use the app to set them all up to the storm effect, all going off at different times. We then told the dancers to freestyle around them to create this cool, dramatic, contemporary effect that they really wanted. The best thing about using all of these lights is the fact you can use the Nanlite app to control each one individually, so once the light is set up, you then don't have to leave where you're filming to control them. This is especially useful if you're solo. This does come in handy when using the false colours as well on the Ninja, which then allows us to fine tune the brightness of the lights to match and get perfect exposure. Currently, straight off the bat, I can see that it is a bit too harsh on her face. We want to be keeping the colours between sort of 55 to like 65-ish. Um, so we want it a bit more pink and blue. And as we can see, it's quite yellow right now. So Lloyd, if you can just turn it down slightly for me, please. There we go. And we can see the colour slightly changing now to this sort of pinky, grey type of colour. That's perfect. So what we'll do now is we'll just come out of false colours. And as we can see, she is actually perfectly lit now. For this setup, we used a 300B Mark II as a key light, some 7X Pavo tubes on the floor in the back, and using a 60C set to red with a projector as the background. We then did different setups like putting 300Bs, four of them in fact, on the sides of the stage to mimic where real stage lighting would be. This light, I would say, is pretty similar to the 300B. So what we're gonna do is we're just literally, we've set it up, we've got nothing on the front of it, and we're just literally going to prop it up on just a bag for now. And uh, it's a bit of a makeshift thing, but it's a similar angle to what this light would be. It's a very similar colour to what this light would be. And then we'll just project that off. And having the girls hold the 7X Pavo tubes with different colours and freestyling with them. We then got Lloyd to set up and use the 60B with the handheld device to follow one of the dancers around while she did a solo act. This setup comes in very handy when you need to do a following shot so you know the lighting can be super consistent, especially during walking shots. For us, as mentioned before, 
being able to record and send the footage through the cloud using Frame.io just completely changes the game and speeds the whole process up significantly. We had Dan, one of our editors, back in the studio, waiting for the footage so he could start working on an edit straight away. So by the time we got back, we had something to then review and send back to the college on the same day for a review. So I think there is a general understanding that in this day and age, the quicker you can get something out, the better. And I don't think this case applies more than to cinematographers who work with editors. We have also used the Connect on a few other projects like the Sony and Nanlite event in Carmarthen University, where we had the Pembrokeshire fire spinners using the Pabotube 7Xs and spinning them around while using other lights so the students could use and practice different lighting techniques. This then again allowed us to send the files back to an editor to create something before we even left on the day to show the students. Overall, using the Nanlite products with the Ninja Connect is the perfect way to improve your current workflow and deliver high quality content faster than ever before. The Connect has also given the Ninja, which is a five-year-old product, a new life. With Cloud Studio and live production, Atomus are adding to their devices and involving them with the industries and our needs.